Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 7th of October 2022. And yes, like I said in yesterday's video there, certainly trying it on again this autumn, what with the rising number of cases and all of the rest of it. I have just come away from a job where I was, I was kind of just changing over a few switches in this lady's flat for her. A uh, nice simple job, but she had the BBC News on, uh, my favourite, not. <laughs> and um, that's the only time I ever see it when I'm forced to like that. And of course, it was all about rising cases and yeah, all the nonsense really. And I just thought, it's not, it's, yeah, you're not still on that old nonsense are you it's just absolutely unbelievable well i'm just going to ignore this kind of nonsense i'm utterly fed up with it i'm sure you are as well and i'm just going if anyone says when i'm out and about oh yeah you know um isn't it terrible that the lurgy cases are rising again i'm just gonna laugh and uh, say something along the lines of oh you don't you you don't still believe in that old fairy tale do you and um hopefully raise some eyebrows and uh, get into a kind of a conversation where i can uh, drop a few truth bombs with a bit of luck so but apart from that i'm going to just ignore this nonsense unless it really escalates um so sort of big time but i think they're just going to try it on come out with headlines like this for a few weeks and i'm pretty sure that it's all tied into uh getting more things into as many arms as they can uh yeah the autumn campaign or whatever it's called so, I am very keen, as you know, on fighting this. Um, I call it a curse on the land. It's a curse on the land that's been here for nearly two years now. And I'm very keen to expose it for uh, the horrendous thing it is and hopefully to eventually get the thing stopped it is happening there's more and more news coming out leaking out despite the powers that shouldn't be best efforts to not let it come out but it is getting out more and more people are starting to question the whole thing uh, less and less people are going along for the thing i think this latest round they're going to find uh, that it's a very poor uptake indeed compared to previous uh, iterations of it but it would just be so nice if some huge bit of news managed to get out into the public consciousness where it was sort of deemed that these whole things were a mistake from day one and the government etc are forced to admit it because not only would it stop people from getting any more of them which uh, is the main concern but it would also stop the spectre that s still seems to be hanging over our heads of, sort of mandated uh, treatments that is something like i said yesterday that i I'd really hoped it disappeared, uh, especially with all the news that is sort of trickling out. So how you can mandate, mandate something that is, well, you know, potentially not great for one's health. I, I just do not know or understand how on earth these people can still be uh, trying it on. But I think they are just trying it on just to see how... Um, you know, how far they can get with it, which I don't think is going to be very far. I read a few of the comments under that Daily Express article I talked about yesterday, and uh, pretty much every one of, of them were absolutely flaming um, the whole idea of mandates for the, uh, the thing. So, 
as I say, if we can just get the things discredited, it would certainly get us off the hook from any possibility of uh, uh, any kind of mandates being in introduced in the future. And uh, wouldn't that be nice? But of course, as people point out to me and as I'm aware myself anyway, mandates doesn't mean anything anyhow. Uh, if you kind of look up in Black's Law Dictionary or anything like that, uh, the definition of mandate is it's not an order, it's not a law, it's not something you have to 100% obey without question. It's something that you have to consent to before it can take effect. So uh, a mandate is, well, you know, we, we think you should do this. And if you turn around and say, yeah, OK, that's a good idea, um, I consent, uh, then you get to the stage where you've got to do it. But if you turn around instead and say, uh, no, thank you, offer declined or sort of offer refused, then it has no power whatsoever. And if it did get to the stage where they, they mandated these things and they started issuing fines, um, well, I think uh, uh, you can sort of take steps to say that you do not consent. And if you get the fines, just do not pay them. And, you know, if you get taken to court, you, you can sort of have, have the defence of, uh, well, we all know what mandates mean. Uh, you have to consent to them uh, to make them take effect. And I do not, I never consented. In fact, here's evidence uh, to show I didn't consent. If it ever gets to this, I would sort of find out how you can make yourself have plenty of evidence uh, that you did not consent on something I would look into uh, well before the fact. But as I say, I don't think it's going to come to that. Uh, I'm going to certainly sort of fight it long and hard, as I'm sure you will and many others will, uh, if we ever get down that path again. But I think it's just a little bit of sabre rattling, as it were, too. Uh, and it's designed just to get people out there. They must be disappointed in the uptake. So they are trying the same old tired formula as before, uh, saying that uh, the number of cases are going up and therefore you must go and get your uh, uh, you know thingy this autumn. And I think that's all it is. And I don't think it'll be long once we get a bit further into the autumn uh, you know, nearer Christmas, they'll probably forget about it and move on to, no doubt, the next load of nonsense. <laughs> so, like I say, I don't think it's anything to worry about. It's best to be ignored. And if it does, uh, you know, get sinister again, well, we have got plenty, plenty of support out there now and plenty of things we can fall back on to fight this kind of thing uh, unlike the first lockdown sort of two and a half well, two and three quarter years ago whatever it was uh, we know so much more and we can sort of counter anything they come out with so much more effectively now so that's my thoughts for a friday afternoon and i'll be back tomorrow Tim from Fair Play now, thanks for watching.